New England. Seven seconds from clinching their 10th consecutive AFC East title. Unbelievable. When the Dolphins scored on that 69-yard play, Gronk did say he should have made the tackle. Uh, Stephen A., who's at fault for that play? To a lesser degree, uh, or for the play or yeah. the game? The game. The play? I was, I was asking the play. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. The play? Bill Belichick. What the hell is Rob Gronkowski with, 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 with his peg leg itself doing on the field in, in, in the back there? You talk about he's, he's back there for a Hail Mary. But you got to go 69, 70 yards. That ball wasn't getting thrown down there to the end zone. Why the hell was he out there? One of your best defensive players, Devin McCourty, was on the sideline, on the bench, in the play to close out the game. This makes no sense. And now, obviously, one has nothing to do with the other. But I found myself immediately thinking about Malcolm Butler being benched in the Super Bowl. Bill Belichick, the genius that is, and he is a genius football-wise. There is no question about that. But Bill Belichick, that, that genius, you know, out-coaching himself. And I think that's what happened here. Look at – tell me one excuse – that Rob Gronkowski, Mr. Injury Prone himself, no, hopping around on one leg, had to be talked out of retiring, all right, just to ensure that he would play with Tom Brady at least one last year. That Rob Gronkowski, why do you have him on the field when you're expecting a Hail Mary? For what? What safety net is he when it comes to running? Or jumping, for that matter. I understand him standing tall. But jumping or running, why would Rob Gronkowski be out there? Makes no sense whatsoever. Let me tell you what Bill Belichick doesn't care about. Being second-guessed. That's why he's the greatest coach who ever lived. We, we don't care about what he cares That's about. That's why. He takes risks. He goes for it on fourth. He was one of the first coaches in the modern NFL or in the recent NFL to go for it more often on fourth mm -hmm. in, in field position and downs and situations where others wouldn't. He is not a coward. And when you take risks and make gutsy calls and it doesn't work, you're going to be second-guessed. My analysis is I agree with you. A 75-yard Hail Mary, it ain't going to happen. Or 70 yards, it's not going to happen. Well, so, uh, so why do you have why, that package why is it gutsy out there? Then? But tell me why it's gutsy. What's gutsy about Bill that? Bill Belichick is privy to information. We are not. Rob Gronkowski is a football player. We see him blocking. You can imagine he, would, he can tackle all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. It's a gutsy call. Now, I disagree with it for the same reasons you do. That is not why they lost. Listen, Tom Brady mismanaged the clock at the end of the half. How often does that happen? Yeah, and gave up a sack. And, and Never happens. Bill Belichick makes a call like that. It doesn't work. How often does that happen? That's the game. She was asking about the play. But, yeah. but, but right. the point is things like that. So how did this happen? Guys, um, I think of the play to beat the band, right? Cal and Stanford. 1982. I think of kick six recently. Right? I think of the Music City Miracle, right? I think of those kind of games. This stuff happens like once a decade. An incredible play like this. Here, here's the play to beat the band. The band is out on the field on this one, right? All these laterals. Music City Miracle, same sort of thing. Boise State, Oklahoma. Like in the last four decades or so, this happens like once a decade, give or take. It's the football gods. It's not Belichick. It's not this. It's not this. It, the, the fates, every, every 10 years or so, the football gods decide this is going to happen. And it happened. That's it. It won't happen First again all, for well, 10 more years. A couple of things. Number one, let me tell you why I don't want to hear your point about how Bill Belichick is privy to things that we are not. What coach in the NFL isn't? It doesn't stop us from sitting here every day questioning them. The fact of the matter is we are entitled to sit up there yeah. and look at you and say, excuse me, what the hell were you thinking? Of course he knows more than we do. Of course he's privy to stuff that we're not privy to. That doesn't negate what we saw. Right. Rob Gronkowski can barely run, damn sure can't jump, okay? Had no business out there in favor of McCourty? In favor of McCourty, one of your better defensive players? That's why I thought about Malcolm Butler. Why? Because I'm quite sure Bill Belichick knows more than we do. I'm quite sure he was privy to information we weren't privy to. Even why you brought Why does it make you think of Malcolm Butler? Because you always bring it up. It's his worst mistake, according to you. And I feel like you can't let that one go. I'm never going to let that go. Of course, I'm a Super Bowl title in my estimation. You have one of the best cornerbacks. Uh, uh, not, I should say one of the best quarterbacks. One of the better cornerbacks uh -huh. in football. 
football. Clearly one of your best cornerbacks. Played 97.8% of your snaps that entire season. 100% of your snaps throughout the playoffs in the AFC Divisional Game and the AFC Championship Game. And then you bench him for the Super Bowl? That that's was right. inexcusable. You know so why. that's why it reminded me of that. Devin McCourty is one of your better defensive players, without question. One of the best you've got. And you take him out of the game in favor of a Rob Gronkowski? That makes no sense whatsoever. You're, you're benching guys because you're daring the other team to beat you with their arm or beat you with the run. You do things to entice the other team to do something that you feel is an error for them strategically. That's what Belichick was up but to I, with the I, But Butler I play. emphatically disagree with your point there because you're not trying to bait them to do anything. It's the last play of the game. They got to travel 69 yards. Time is running out. So it's lim it's very limited. They only had two options to Hail Mary or what you saw. And at the end of the day, you got Rob Gron You're expecting laterals all over the place. Actually, right. Rob Gronkowski. We'll what, Let's what just call it what it is. The Patriots the can't odds? play in Miami. I don't know what the deal is. Whenever they travel to that city in Miami, to, to, uh, they always on, lose. I'm going to leave it on, at that. Hold it. It's Miami. Yeah, it's I, near South Beach. Yeah, I'm aware. And on Sundays, there is a day called Saturday. Yeah, I've heard of it. As in Saturday night. Yeah. And I can assure Guess you. Guess what? Saturday night I wins can, every I can, time. I can assure undefeated. you. Saturday undefeated. Saturday night's going to be undefeated. Sure. undefeated.